We all know what a sales tax is. It's a tax levied on the sale of goods and services that's usually calculated as a percentage of the purchase price and collected by the seller. The idea is simple. No matter where a sale takes place, the retailer is supposed to collect a tax and those funds go to support our local communities. But unfortunately, a growing number of online retailers are exploiting a tax loophole to avoid collecting sales tax, giving them an unfair advantage over Main Street businesses. Twenty years ago, it was difficult to collect sales tax on certain purchases, like those made through mail-order catalogs, because tax rates varied widely from place to place. But the Internet has changed everything. In the 1990s, fledgling internet retailers like Amazon.com took their cue from mail order catalogs. This unfair pricing advantage harms small businesses and brick and mortar retailers all across the country because it's hard to compete on an uneven playing field. In fact, studies have shown that real jobs are in peril because of this loophole. The real kicker is that even when sales tax isn't charged by a website, it's still owed by the individual. Now, most of us don't report this on our tax returns, but now revenue-starved states are starting to pursue individual consumers. No one wants to get audited, which is why it's too bad some online retailers have made it nearly impossible for their customers to simply follow the rules. None of this was really a big deal back when online shopping only represented a tiny amount of overall commerce, but times have changed. Today, 6% of all purchases are made online representing roughly $3.4 trillion in sales. Of those sales, state and local governments are losing out on $9.9 .9 billion in uncollected sales tax that should be funding vital local services. As online shopping continues to grow, this amount will only get bigger. In an era of high unemployment, where state governments are cutting services because of shrinking revenues, it doesn't make sense that giant online retailers are getting special treatment while the rest of us foot the bill. Collecting sales tax isn't difficult. In fact, 18% of e-commerce sites already do it. We just need to close the sales tax loophole for those who don't. This policy is a no-brainer. It shouldn't matter whether we buy something online or offline, the laws of the land should be applied fairly and equally. A sale is a sale, no matter where it happens. Thankfully, steps are being taken to end this preferential treatment and close this loophole in the tax system. Legislation has already been passed in multiple states and is being considered in others. Visit StandWithMainStreet.com to learn more and get involved today.